<sighs> well, I suppose you have to be prepared for disappointment somehow. <laughs> Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. Apologies if the quality isn't that great. But it is almost time for the results of the 66th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest, which of course has taken place tonight in Turin in Italy. This is going to be a bumper video on my channel. Very messy, so do bear with me. But the jury results are about to come in. If you didn't see my most recent video or blog post, I predicted Ukraine to win. The UK 2nd, Spain 3rd, Italy 4th, Sweden 5th, Greece 6th, Netherlands 7th, Norway 8th, Serbia 9th, Poland 10th. With Germany, Iceland, Belgium and Switzerland right near the bottom. Having seen all of the performances again tonight, I think Ukraine is winning. But the UK was so good. Sam Ryder, excellent. Spain, fantastic. Italy, good. Sweden, great. Greece and the Netherlands, superb. Even with the running order, De Diepte was fantastic. I also enjoyed France, and I thought Switzerland was better than the semi-final tonight as well. I think we're going to get quite a few null points, potentially, once more, but also a big difference in public and jury opinion. It's going to be hard to keep track of everything, so bear with me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I should take this opportunity to say a big thank you to everybody who has supported my channel over the past couple of months. This Eurovision season as a whole, it means a great deal to me. This is a small channel, but it has grown quite a bit recently, and I really do appreciate that. We have a valid result, says Martin Oestegaard. I don't know if you can hear my TV too well, but we are about to get started. The Netherlands vote first. The UK needs 12 points to better our point tally from the past two contests combined. And if Ukraine lead the way, or are in the top three a third of the way through the jury voting, I'm calling it. It's like the general election. I am calling it. Ukraine will win. Come on, Sam Ryder. I'm very hopeful and very calm. I really am. But there will be ridiculous scores, particularly for Moldova. And very low marks for a lot of really big hitters as well. There's Mika. He just performed as part of the interval. He was very good. Maniskin were very good as well. I like their new song, absolutely. I'm particularly interested not only for Ukraine and the UK, but especially Spain. That's a contender, but will the juries love it? Anything can happen. It is... 11.02 p.m. here in the UK, so it's just past midnight in Italy. Here we go. The Netherlands are up first. Four for the UK, Switzerland on ten. Hello, Switzerland. Jongu McCroy is wearing some sort of blanket. Who's getting the 12 from the Dutch? Italy, Greece, France. Whoops. You are making us wait too long, though. Ukraine. Greece get the 12 from the Netherlands. Great start. Great start. San Marino are up next. 12 to Italy, possible. I think Switzerland are going to do very nicely here. The UK get 8 from little old San Marino. A place my mother has been to. Spain! Look at that! Second place for Spain! Get your cervezas ready, you know what I'm saying? Wow! Spain! North Macedonia, Serbia 12. Serbia 10. Quite like what she's wearing, but 
That's trivial. The UK are on eight. Getting eight points from North Macedonia. Switzerland. Uh-huh. Belgium give over. Netherlands. Nothing yet. BS. Greece. <gasps> Ooh, Spain. Oh, my God. The blood pressure will be rising on the streets of Enidorm. Or wherever you're from in Spain. I'm not picky. Granada. I'd love to go. Malta's voting next. Give us the 12. No, no, no. Not 8. 12. There's Aiden in Malta. Makes a change for him to actually be in Malta. This is, this is a very interesting start here. Ukraine are on two points. Oh! Spain. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Australia, unex well, I was going to say unexpectedly, but not unexpectedly. Doing very, very well indeed. Spain, incredible how they're doing so far. You can't deny the performance, can you? Steady on, Chanel. It's early days. Ukraine. Here we go. The lead singer of Goa, Timur Moroshenchenko, the Ukrainian commentator, is doing his commentary from a bomb shelter. Ten to Portugal. Yes, Ukraine, you beauties. Big up Ukraine, you know what I'm saying? Albania, Italy or Greece. Another 10 for Sam Ryder, oh steady on boy. He's the commentator. So he's in front of a green screen, isn't he? France have nothing yet, which is very disappointing. And the Netherlands, well, you know, ticking over. The UK are top. Ah, uh, Italy get the 12 from Albania, which moves them into fifth place. Will Spain stay up there? Will, I've got a Spanish flag. I should have it out. Oh, man. Estonia. Love Estonia. Four. Australia. Yeah, as we expected, did incredibly well with the juries. And Azerbaijan did very well with the juries too, which is not a surprise because Nadir is a great singer. Sweden. Sweden. Estonia dissing Spain. Sweden move into second place. My favourite of the year. I thought it was very good, but it didn't quite hit me as a winner. So here we go, seven countries are down, the UK are top, Germany have nothing, France have nothing, Norway are doing badly, and Moldova very poor as well, but they will rise up. It's the public mark for Sam Ryder, that could be the killer blow. Start booking the Manchester Arena I say. <laughs> Azerbaijan are voting now. Oh. Oh, Azerbaijan have technical issues, so... Martin Ustadal steps in. I think this is a first, the executive supervisor doing it. What is going on? 
<laughs> Let's not get carried away now. Come on. Stiff up a lip. Somebody at the BBC is getting nervous. They're all getting nervous. Okay, Portugal next. He's come dressed as a chessboard. This is, of course, the lead singer of the Black Mamba. Spain, 12 points here. Spain. Mm-hmm. It's just amazing what we're seeing. The UK and Spain are the top two. Give me strength, man. And to think Spain didn't even want to. We're off to Germany. Barbara. Well, that's an outfit. Ah, 10 to Ukraine. It seems to me as though some juries are being very generous. They're loving Stefania. But some juries really aren't too keen. Will Germany give us any points? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, dear me. But will we stay there? Belgium are next. That's an outfit. That's an outfit. It's a sort of space age robe that you'd wear when you get out of the sauna. Le Royaume-Uni. Come on. Come on! 100 points! Oh boy! I know why we're winning. It's the Queen's Jubilee in a few weeks. Gotta keep the Royals happy. Even Mika can't believe it. The UK and Spain, the top two. Unprecedented. And Ukraine aren't up there at the moment, which is interesting. Will the betting odds be completely wrong? Norway, Sweden, oh, Sweden get eight, United Kingdom gets six. It's Tix, so he is not the DJ on stage with Subwoofer. I think it's fair to, s I can't believe France, that's disgusting. Yeah, Greece. You're absolutely right. Amanda should be on 55 points. She's a beautiful woman. I'm really interested to hear more of her music now. Israel. Oh, you know, I've got to, I've got to be honest, that's a bit of a boring time. I mean, you've got the top six and then everybody else, really. Sweden. Yeah, nice. This is great because it's close. It's not a landslide. Thank you so much. Landslide wins are never exciting. It happened a decade ago, and it's not looking like it's going to happen this year. Poland. Eight points to the UK. There's a very beautiful woman. Now Poland are right next door to Ukraine. And if Ukraine get the 12 here, they move into the top 5. And I think they will. Oh! 
Oh, it, it's Ukraine. Spit it out. Well said, Graham. It's a song contest. Greece can't vote for Cyprus. Stephania. Well, will Stephania give 12 to Stephania? 7 to Romania, out of the blue. Come on, Greece, I've got a Greek flag. What? I'm not really sure what Greece were watching tonight. But fair enough. Azerbaijan. Moldova. Romania, 12 points. Yeah. Yeah. Spain are now on 100 points. It's incredible, no? Portugal are ticking over nicely. They're on 60. I'm disappointed the Netherlands aren't a bit higher. Let's go to Romania. Oh. Shunning their neighbours. Ukraine move into the top four. Mmm. Coming up on the rails, you feel. Ah, this could be another 12 for Ukraine here. Maybe the tide is turning. But we are still getting a lot of points here. Oh, Greece. Bang. That moves them straight back up. I'm thrilled Greece are doing well. Really, I am. Serbia. Well, none of their Balkan friends made the final. One point from Serbia. Well, we've got to take what we can get. And ten out of the blue for Estonia. Alora, Ukraine, Ukraine... Ukraine, Azerbaijan. I think we can probably say that Azerbaijan did well with the juries in the semi-final, not brilliant with the public. Well, there you go. Iceland. We love Iceland. Seven. For the UK. This is the wife of Daddy Freer. Czech Republic have only got 15 points. Well, that's not very good. Aha. Uh -huh. France are on one point. Disgraceful. Sweden. Sweden. Yes. Yes. Sweden's ticking over, you know. Cyprus, Greece, Greece. Ah, he's back. The UK are on 155. Cyprus are going to give 12 to Greece. <laughs> Low marks for a lot of countries. Yes, there is a gap here between Azerbaijan and the Dutch of about 20 points or so. And then everybody else below the Dutch, really low marks. A lot of countries are sucking the focus. Latvia next. Sweden. Samantha Tina, who has heaven knows what on her head. 
you think she would be eating a salad, wouldn't you? Ukraine will get the 12 here, probably. How many countries have voted? 21. So we're just over halfway through. Ukraine are four. Can't believe France. Shocking. But that's more of a public favourite. You'd think. Get on with it, Samantha. Ukraine. Bit of a slap in the face for Spain here. Spain are starting to slip a bit. But the, uh, the UK and Sweden are still doing a nice job. Spain are voting now. Three from Spain. That is quite the outfit she's got on. Yes. Buenas noches, says Spania. Oh, Benidorm. You're in Benidorm. Where are all the Brits on the beach? This will be Ukraine or Portugal. What? Well, that's Portugal and Spain falling out. Well, yes, you might well look surprised. Switzerland, good old neutral Switzerland. Boats all over the place. What is that outfit? It's like a lilac dress. What is that behind her? It's like some sort of ghostly waterfall. Anyway, the UK gets six. Greece, nice. Nice. Germany haven't got a point. Are we surprised? I'm sorry to say it. Are we surprised? Denmark, 12 to Sweden. Seven to Sweden. And six to the UK. Ten to the Netherlands is nice to see. There's also a point for Iceland. Shame Denmark aren't in the final, but hey-ho, let's go. Greece. Greece are on the rise again. What a smashing top four. Top five. Great stuff. Love to see it. Love it. Love it. This is why I'm calm. The UK. The UK are on 178. Will we stay there? Probably not. Sweden the second, Spain third, Greece fourth, Germany last. And I predicted Ukraine to win, the UK second, Spain third, Italy fourth, Sweden fifth, Greece sixth. So we could be on course for a fairly decent prediction there. Oh, Let's have a break. Well, let's take a look and see what the uh, people online are talking about. There's Sam Ryder. I don't think he can believe it, to be honest. Unbelievable. Wow. Graham Norton better clear his schedule because if the UK wins, he's a shoe in to co host next May. Come on. Love it. Love it. It's just nice to be good at something that isn't cycling or swimming for a change. Yeah, Graham Norton can't believe it. 
Azerbaijan are doing very, very well. Bit of a jury darling. Portugal, not damaged by the running order in the eyes of the jurors. Ukraine a fifth. Could still do it. Could absolutely still do it. But Germany and France. Zip. France with one. Germany nothing. That to me is disappointing. France vote now. Eiffel Tower. Well, of course. Now, will France give the UK douze points? Or are we going to have to have strong words? Or are France going to blank the UK and give 12 to Sweden? Le Royaume-Uni, s'il vous plaît. Yes! Merci beaucoup, la France! Merci! Fantastique, non? Armenia are next. I think that venue in the back. I could be wrong, but I think that venue in the back looks like where Junior Eurovision is going to be at the end of the year. Moldova are on nine. They will multiply that by God knows how many later on. Spain are just starting to fade a touch, you know. There is a big gap between about ninth and tenth, Netherlands, Switzerland. Oh, Armenia ignore the UK, and 12 go to Chanel. She needed that to stay in touch. I'm loving this voting because it's close, and I love these songs. It gives me great joy as a Eurovision fan to see this. Hey. Ah, oh, Montenegro, hello. And the UK gets five. A green dress. Azerbaijan have done very well here. Jury success of the year. Germany. Woo! Deserves points, rock stars. Greece. Oh, well, oh, of course. Montenegro and Serbia. Good old pals. Keep it together. Stick to what you know. Where, Where's Ireland voting? Linda Martin. Romania. Oh, hello Martin Osterdal. Another eight from... Our good pals in Romania. Moldova, probably. Come on, now. Ah. Romania ignoring Moldova. Seems as though the atmosphere has died down a lot in Turin. I should say, a really good friend of mine, here's Ireland. We expect 12. Eight. Fair enough. Uh, anyway, uh, a really good friend of mine was in Turin for the family final. Well, not the family final, the family show earlier today. They sent me some pictures, a clip of the Swedish performance, and they said the crowd loved Sam Ryder. So that's good. <laughs> Ireland might give 12 to the Netherlands or Greece here, not Spain. Linda. Come on now, it was 30 years ago. You don't need to remind us. Oh, Ireland, love a bit of dance. ta tur ta tur let's get on the dance floor now. It's not river dance, but it'll do, I tell you. Yeah, this is interesting. Graham just said it. The juries have warmed to Spain. That's a key thing. Slovenia, give us two. Goodbye. 
Slovenia has never hosted Eurovision. I think it would be a very interesting host country, Ljubljana. Bit of an underrated city, actually. Uh, Slovenia gives 12 points to Sweden. Yeah, Slovenia didn't make the final, unfortunately, but they did a good showing, you know, good showing. Oh, nothing for Sweden. So that means the gap increases for Sam Ryder. I'm not getting carried away. I'm really not, because I know the public. I don't trust them. <laughs> Never have. Georgia. Oh, back to Martin Osterdahl. Well. Some of these satellite feeds poor this evening. UK. UK. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. When the UK wins, we win big. But we haven't won yet, so calm yourselves down. Is that Lois, his wife? Shout out Lois, if it is. Croatia next, well, we're not getting much here. Or are we? He looks like he means business. Well, this could be another 12 from Croatia. Luka Modric. I'm ready. Go to... You... I was just about to say... Might have known. Right, Lithuania. This is where the UK's 12 points probably went. Because they always do. 10. Ah, it's our man. The Roop. Ukraine will get the 12 here from Lithuania, I'd imagine. I hope you're sticking with me with this bumper long video on my channel. I should say there will be a video very soon reviewing the whole contest. So Ukraine are within touching distance of the top three, which could be enough to seal victory. Austria, love a bit of Austria, love a bit of Vienna. Ah, it's our man again. Hello. I imagine Austria will give 12 to Ukraine here, but the UK still lead on 235. Yes! Come on! 247 points. The UK lead the way. Where's she been? Probably for a crafty fag, you know, around the corner. <laughs> no, let's not joke. Serious. We're British. Look at that top five. Portugal's there. Lovely. Can't wait for the British newspapers if the UK wins. They'll change their tune, let me tell you. They'll change their tune. Graham Norton thinks Portugal 5th is interesting. So do I. But that was always probably going to get a fair amount of jury love, you know. Finland next. Ah, uh -huh. uh, 10 from Finland. Lovely. Lovely. 
12 to Sweden probably here. 257 plays 214. It's a healthy lead, but that will be eaten into. Sweden, 12 points, yep. Germany are getting a double zero here. You heard it here first. Well, no, you didn't. Because actually, quite a few people saw it coming. I'm sorry to say it, Germany, but you're letting the big five down. So are France. I can't believe it. The UK. AJ Ododu. Who did the UK jury enjoy this year? This is Salford, by the way. And if you're wondering where Salford is, you're probably better off not knowing. It's near Manchester, I believe. Get in. 12 points to Ukraine or Sweden here. The UK might be a bit sympathetic. Oh, the UK jury blanks Ukraine. 12 to Sweden means they close the gap. Looks a bit like a young Elton John on the right there, my goodness. Yes, Cornelia. Don't hit the booze just yet. Sweden voting now. Eight. Eight. We're near the end of the jury results. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Gukvel, Gukvel. Oh, daughter is pregnant. So no male fest next year then. Spain, maybe. Yes. Spain. They've never known anything like it. 212 points. Unbelievable. <sighs> Australia, now then. Now then. Courtney Act. What an outfit. Looks as though she's fallen into a box of quality street chocolates. Australia. Come on, then. Oh! Whoa! Australia say stuff you UK and they give Spain 12. So Spain are very much in the hunt, you know. Very much in the hunt. Czech Republic. Nothing from the Czechs here. Seven for Spain, ten for Sweden. Greece doing all right at the moment. Low marks, but they all add up. Switzerland, 75. Czech Republic are on 33. As I expected, Armenia struggling. Moldova are on 9. Poland 2016. Whoosh. It's going to happen again. Czech Republic. Come on. I love Prague. Yes. Yes. Czech Republic. Love it. Who's left to vote? Italy. Don't know who else. Maybe another Balkan country? I did predict Sam Ryder to win the jury vote. Oh, the last country to vote. Italy. And so, the UK finishes on 283 points with the juries. We win the jury vote. Whereas last year, we were last... Italy might give 12 to Spain, but they do love a quirky entry. Not Azerbaijan again. The Netherlands! Once again, the Italian jury goes for whatever the hell they like. That's deserved. And that's the end of the jury vote. The UK 
are in first place. Will we stay there? Don't get your hopes up. If the UK wins this, Northampton 2023, thank you. It's only up the road. Look at that! Ha ha! Ha ha! Serbia will move up, absolutely, but look at that top five. Mwah! Mwah! Oh man. Oh dear. UK fans, I'm looking here, can't quite believe it. Ah, they're dragging this out now. He's back with Sam. I should say, one of the songwriters is, and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, Amy Wouch. And she's worked with Ed Sheeran. And Ed Sheeran is one of the biggest stars in the world. So, you know, maybe that's a little sign right there. If you get a successful songwriter in, and a person who can sing very well live, with a decent song, it's incredible. When you put the effort in, this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, if the UK slips to fourth, it would not be our best result of the century so far. 2002 still would be. Well, if you thought those votes were ridiculous, which I didn't really think they were, apart from France doing very badly, and Azerbaijan and Switzerland doing a bit better than first thought. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, these points, these points, the public points, many zeros potentially, it's about to get more ridiculous. I do not think the UK will get a terribly impressive mark here. I really don't. Sam, maybe 150 at a push. I don't think that will be enough. We will know quickly if there's a lot of low marks, if Ukraine potentially has received a lot of love. But the betting odds, wow, they'll be well off if Ukraine don't win this. But Eurovision fans, a lot of Eurovision fans thought it would be close, and that's what we might be getting. Can you imagine if the UK win? Honestly, I'd, I'd started losing hope, ladies and gentlemen. I really did start losing hope. Like so many of us UK fans, it did not seem possible. But the performance, the vocals, the running order position... All the things fell into place. All of the other big hitters, most of them in the first half. So many things worked in our favour. And it would be so nice if the UK won, because it means we won't see Boris Johnson's face on TV all the time. We know how it works now, you don't need to explain it. Do you know what I'm surprised about? I know some countries do this. But I'm surprised there's no sign language interpreter on screen. France, that is shocking. It is 11.44 here in the UK. Germany first. Honestly, it should be at least 20. It might be zero. Undeserved. The UK... Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a nearly 100 point lead over Ukraine, I should say. Portugal have done very well. Germany then, come on. I think he's expecting double zero. That's a wake up call to the German broadcaster. Fire all of them. Is it zero? Oh, six. Germany will finish last again, but they don't go home empty-handed. France, at least 70. At least 70. Oh! 
That's a shocker. Iceland. Very low. Very low. Ten. France. Oh boy. That's quite shocking. Finland. Thirty. Twenty-six. Well, you know what? On early, not expected to do that well. That's okay. Romania. Thirty. Forty. Fifty-three. That's solid mid-table. Romania moved to the left-hand side temporarily. They're on sixty-five. Moldova now. Hmm. How ridiculous will this be? How ridiculous. Wow. 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 That could be the public winner. And to think most people had that ranked in their bottom ten. Czech Republic, this better be a decent mark. 30 minimum. What? Five. Shocking. Lithuania, well, at least 30. At least 30 because of the UK and Ireland. At least 30. <gasps> 93? Well, not bad. Norway next. Now you'd think this would get more than Moldova. One hundred and forty six is about right. So Norway aren't winning at all, which we expected. Moldova, what is that all about, eh? Armenia. Twenty one, you know, not bad. Estonia next, at least 40. At least 40. Wow, 98. That's probably about 10th or 11th with the public. Very good. But it only moves them temporarily to the left-hand side. Poland, big diaspora, 200 probably. One hundred and five. Well, I never saw that as winning material, and he's going to finish in big table. Belgium. Oh. Five. As expected, juries loved him, public not so much. Switzerland. Ah, well, can't say I'm surprised. Serbia, big mark now, all the Balkan love. The crowd know it. Say it. Say it, man. Two hundred and twenty five. So Serbia aren't winning, but Serbia 
did very well. This is not good for the UK because Moldova and Serbia probably did better. Ten countries are left. No, Serbia aren't winning, but top ten. Hold on to your hats. Yeah, don't drag it out. Not expecting the UK to score big here. Not now Serbia and Moldova. Azerbaijan. 20, 30 minimum. Oh, three. Three for Azerbaijan. Forgettable. Serbia and Moldova getting 220, 230 something. Yeah. Australia next. Zero. Well, that's that's so poor. So poor, he deserved more than that, no doubt. Netherlands next. Same old story for Australia, I'm sorry to say it. Well, hang on a minute. They didn't clap for um, Azerbaijan, did they? Low, low marks. Eight countries left. Italy. Hmm. Oh, Netherlands, sorry, Netherlands. Doing well online streaming. Minimum of 50. Don't you disgust me. Forty-two, maybe damaged by the running order, but the Netherlands will finish tenth, I think. Which is still not bad, better than last year. Italy next. Well, based on Moldova and Serbia, I think it's fair to say that Ukraine haven't run away with this. But you never know. You don't need to drag this out. You don't. Italy. 200 plus. Two hundred plus. Wow. 110. So Italy will finish probably about 6th in the end. Serbia still lead the way, which isn't much of a surprise because so many people loved it, hyped it up. Good place in the running order. Greece should be getting 100. Minimum. Fifty-sevens, not brilliant. Below Moldova is outrageous. Outrageous. Anyway, Portugal next. This will be low, I'm afraid. Song three tonight. That was about 20 years ago. Minimum 35. Thirty six. Not bad. Well, next is Ukraine. This is the big one. I'm expecting them to pass Serbia, so that's two hundred and ninety two. Yeah, Ukraine only need about a hundred and thirty something, I think. And they move into the lead. 
But if this is 300 something, could all be over. Could all be over. But honestly, whoever wins now, I'm happy. Absolutely. 300? 300? It's all over. 300? It's all over. Say it. Wow. 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 Four hundred and thirty nine points. It is over. It's over. That's astonishing. The UK's flop big time then. That's astounding and very generous. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Look at the comments. Exactly as I thought, people saying it's ridiculous. Well, it's over now, isn't it? It's over. The fun's gone. Sam Ryder, he's not going to do it. Give over. Ukraine, as they probably knew they would. That's an incredible mark. That's an incredible mark. That's 200 plus points more than anybody else. You know, Serbia probably was the runner up. Moldova third with the public. Outrageous marks. Song contest of sympathy. Look at these comments. You knew it was going to happen. The gloss will be taken off. There's no way any country is passing Ukraine. You do not need to drag this out. Spain. Flop or not. The excitement has sapped away. Two hundred and twenty eight about the same as Moldova, which is ridiculous. So it's going to be the split screen is Ukraine and the UK, and I predicted them in the top two and Spain third. But Sweden next, well, yeah, my favorite of the year. Ah, Serbia will finish fifth, I think. Very good, very good. Why? Look, this is annoying me now, because we know who's won. So you don't need to drag it out. It is unlikely. Sam needs 300 plus, which he won't get, because we know the public. It's 11.57pm here in the UK. Sweden next. Can't believe Moldova's score. That just threw a cat amongst the pigeons with this whole voting. If Moldova didn't do nearly as well, it would be a bit more interesting. Thing is with Ukraine, they can't say anything political because it's against the rules. Sweden next. My favourite of the year. This should be decent. But I did say expect ridiculousness. At least a hundred. One hundred and eighty points is good. So the UK 383, 483, 
583, the UK needs at least about 350 points. That's not happening. That's not happening. So Ukraine have won, and I think we all know it. We all know it. But will it be a slap in the face for Sam Ryder and a disappointing low mark? Ukraine, come on, we know this now. We've known it for at least 15 minutes. Great result for Spain. Poor for France and Germany, though. France in particular. We know who's won. We know who's won. Come on, even the crowd know it. We know this. But where did Sam finish? In a stupidly low position? It should be 200. Well, we won't be in Ukraine next year. But look at that. That picture of the crowd tells you everything you need to know. And I dread to think what the comments are saying. I think the UK finishes third, is it? Second. Again. It is a crushing win, but it was down to the public mark. Serbia finished fifth. The momentum was with them. Oh, wow. We gave 12 to Ukraine. Okay. Well, there you have it. Like I said, it will be very interesting to see the fallout of these results and also what people say about it because you just know what's coming. An absolutely enormous public score which took the gloss off the rest of the voting procedure there you have it though it's all over for another year where will next year's contest be a third Ukrainian win And the UK are the runners-up. And we finished about 6th or 7th with the public, I would say. Moldova and Serbia, that's most, not so much of a surprise. Don't really know what else to say, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just... I feel very deflated. The UK finished second, Spain third, Sweden fourth, Serbia fifth, Italy sixth, Moldova seventh, Greece eighth, and then I didn't see the rest, but Germany will last. There you go. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and supporting my channel over the past few weeks it means a great deal if you've stuck with me for the past hour and four minutes it means a great deal let me know your thoughts in the comments below but it will be interesting to see what happens next a bit of a headache for the EBU perhaps until next time take care of yourselves and ciao for now